I'm honored to be presenting Sofia Coppola's director tribute. She's an incredibly inspiring filmmaker, and I'm lucky to count her not only as a colleague, but a good friend. And she's right there. Um, I fell in love with Sofia's work 18 years ago when I walked into a movie theater on 2nd Avenue and saw the first shot of The Virgin Suicides, photographed by the great Ed Lockman, who's here tonight, also being uh, tributized. Uh, it was an image of Kirsten Dunst sucking a lollipop on a sun-dappled suburban street, accompanied by the sound of buzzing cicadas, warbly vibrating electronic music by the French band Air. This cocktail, this immersive swirl of sound and imagery, immediately cast a spell on me. And Sofia Coppola has been casting spells on me and many other people ever since. Sophia never went to film school. Instead, she absorbed the filmmaking process by growing up on the sets of some of the greatest movies in American cinema. She digested the experience of watching her father work, metabolized it in her unique way, and when she finally decided to write and direct, out came these beautiful, whispering, atmospheric films that were all her own. Her films are often about restless women, girls imprisoned by their environments, a young woman stuck in an unhappy marriage wandering a hotel in Tokyo or a palace in Versailles, a group of women languishing in a boarding school uh, on a plantation during the Civil War. That's Unical. Adolescent sisters marooned in their suburban house in 1970s Michigan. From one movie to the next, Sophia can swing from the minimalism of Lost in Translation to the lavish maximalism of Marie Antoinette. I love the way she does parties in movies. Awkward basement wood-paneled teenage parties, trippy Tokyo club parties, decadent champagne drinking parties in Versailles with plates of pastries arranged like flowers, jump cut to the rhythm of bow wow wow. Karaoke parties with Bill Murray singing an aching rendition of More Than This by Roxy Music. We often talk about the melancholy dreaminess of her work, but Sofia Coppola has also a uh, wicked sense of humor. She's a wonderful satirist and a great director of comedy. She loves a good laugh and has a soft spot for former SNL performers. She famously stalked Bill Murray for a year to get him to star in Lost in Translation. She's worked with Maya Rudolph, Chris Rock. She introduced me to Molly Shannon and once said she'd like to write a movie for Eddie Murphy. She's a brilliant and influential filmmaker with a voice and vision that is unmistakable. She's insanely generous and loving and lots of fun to talk to and drink coffee with after we've dropped our daughters off at school in the morning. She's an artist and a friend that inspires me every day. I recently read a quote by Fellini about filmmaking that I think Sophia will appreciate and it reminds me of her work. Instinct is a better guide to the truth than reason. I love you, Sophia.